Hi everyone. Today I want to talk about coloring your model from the canvas. Um, using colors grabbed off the concept art. Using those colors to paint your model. Normally um, people use spotlight um, to sample the color off and that is fine. But the only problem with spotlight is if you load load up load up a, an image in spotlight and you try to use that to 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 sample off you always have to press the z key before you're able to sample a color so in this state if i press c go out of spotlight i can paint the color on the model but if i sample again the orange it's not going to change until I press Z again, then sample, then press Z again, and then paint on the image, paint on the model. This is a little bit long winded if you're not projecting directly onto the model. So the best way I see to do this is by using image plane. So image plane is quite old. Um, it's been in ZBrush for a very long time and um, I'm going to show you how I use it when I'm painting when I, when I want to use the concept colors to paint the model so the first thing I want to do is um, create a canvas so I'm going to drop this off and press Control N I'm going to get rid of Spotlight and I'm going to load in the model I have so I'm just going to load this up and drop that to the canvas. This model, the concept is by Arthur Mukamitov. I sculpted it last year for 3D Magazine and um, I'm going to use it to illustrate my point today. So we have a cat and we have our texture loaded. Image plane is basically ZBrush taking a plain 3D, applying a texture to it in high res and drop into the canvas. So we've got our text selected. We've got image. First of all, we need to clear the canvas. So I'm going to control N that. Load image plane. Go into edit mode by pressing T. And then you can treat this like any other object. So I'm going to move it out of the way where I want to sample from, which is over here. Then I'm going to drop it to the canvas by pressing T again. Then I'm going to select the model I want to use, which is the cat. I'm going to drop that to the canvas. Enter edit mode. And now we have our cat and we have our, our reference. Now, because this is on the actual document, we can now sample from this. So I'm going to drop the color over to the right so you can see what's happening. So if I sample the orange, it changes color. If I sample the purple, it changes color. If I sample the, the yellow, it changes color. And when you're done with all the painting, you can just, um, I've already painted this up. I was just using it to show what's, what's happening. So I'm just going to colorize everything. Once you're done with colors, you can see that the cat is painted up. And if you render this out very quickly, it won't render the background because it's dropped in the document. It will only render the tool. So if you wanted to use this as a, um, a reference, you could. And when you go back to editing, it reappears. Something else you could do if you wanted to um, use other colors and you wanted to use those colors to add a bit of variety to your paint not just purely these ones you all you need to do is get this cat out of the way first of all move move go back out of edit mode and then what i like to do here is select the simple where is it the single layer brush over here change my material to flat color and any color I want to uh, add on, I could just basically sample from the color wheel if I'm sure. And 
change that, change the um, brush size, and just basically draw on whatever color I wanted to add on if I fancied it. And you can just basically go on and add some colors. I want to add a bit of red, a bit of yellow, a bit of blue. Let's go a bit of green over here. Add that on. When you're done, you go back to your tool. Draw it out. Press T. And you go back to your skin shape. And now you have more colors on your canvas you can sample from. So if I press C, press C, press C, press C. So that's a way you can use image plane and the simple layer brush to use the canvas to paint your colors onto your models. I prefer that to use a spotlight because spotlight is a very powerful tool, but I don't like the fact that you have to keep on going in and out of spotlight to sample colors from. So I hope that is useful to you and I will see you around soon. Take it easy.